Well, welcome all my fellow wanderers to Montana, to the Lee Metcalf Wilderness Area. So this time around, we'll be doing a relatively short hike in terms of mileage. It's about 17 miles. Uh, the elevation is what I was planning for because I wanted to get more practice going up steep inclines, so I haven't done it in forever. Um, I got about 4,000 plus feet of elevation between that 17 miles. Uh, I think I might actually have more because I think 4,000 feet was the elevation for one of the sections during one of the days. Um, so yeah, I'll be getting some good elevation training in. Uh, the plan will be hiking up. It's called Dudley Trail. It's about 5, 5.8 miles in. I'll be stopping and camping out at Dudley Lake. And then after that, I'll be hiking up another ridge to another lake and then exiting via Deer Chase Trail. So it should be exciting. It should be fun. We're gonna have a good time exploring on this two night, three day adventure. So come with me, your friend and trail companion. The adventure is that way. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, so this is epic. I've always wanted to go through Switzerland because of the way the mountains are and the valleys and the flowers and it's just gorgeous, the whole scene, the whole landscape. And I got through the pine tree clearing. Hey, take a look! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like, it feels like the closest I'm gonna get until I actually go to Switzerland. Oh, there you can get some of the mountains back there. Oh my gosh, this is breathtakingly beautiful. I am that much more excited to go to the Alps in the next couple of years here. Even more! Bring it on! Ah, oh, ah. All right, so mosquitoes are dreadful, which makes me worry because I brought a tarp and not a tent. Ow. So I'm gonna get eaten alive tonight, probably. Got one. Ha! Phew, phew. This was probably a terrible spot to do the video, but I wanted to do it here because it had a cool backdrop. So I'm gonna push through and I'm gonna get bit and eaten and I'm gonna be all right with it. Um, damn it. Hold on. So we've made it out. Uh, my total elevation gain, I made it up 92. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, 92, <laughs> 100 feet. Um, it was fun. Uh, the whole time coming up, it wasn't bad. The part where it really got me was the last, like, mile. And that last mile was just, whoo, straight uphill for, I'd say it was a good thousand feet on just 0.8 to a mile. So it was pretty steep, but push through. <clears throat> I got some stuff started collecting for a fire, uh, charging my phone so I can take some more video. Yeah. First leg of the journey done. Now I'm going to take this kilt, rip it off, and I'm going to go skinny dip in the lake. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I got my base camp set up. Still, I got... <laughs> Let's check on it. I got some macaroni and cheese in there going. And I'm gonna add some sausage. And then for the humdang home run, I'm gonna try putting it in a wrap. That's right, you heard me. 
sounds phenomenal. So over here, I have my little sleeping arrangement. I got a nice little wall there. I got my kilt strung up, drying out. It's pretty much dry already. Got that shirt strung out. Got my little lean-to. Got my stuff inside. And then I got my bear hang way out there in the distance. I am set, ready. The weather is dropping, it's coming down. Dude, it's gonna be a beautiful night. Glad that these rocks are holding my tarp down for now. Looks like we should be good. Definitely is a good reminder of how strong stuff can be out here. And that you're always wanting to be prepared for anything, or else this could have ended very badly. Thankfully, my tent tarp stayed intact. Today's challenge is the fun part. Uh, there's no trail connecting the ones I want, so I'm going to have to bushwhack up the side one of these mountains to connect in. <laughs> Almost there. Hey, that little low swoop. That's what I'm shooting to get to, to connect in. Now, I could be mistaken, but this sure as hell looks like a trail to me. That mountain, I was tracking with Anna and Rainier. They're my friends that I met last night, but we're trying to figure out pinpoint which mountain top they're going to, so that ridge right there. They're coming up from the bottom side down here. So let's see if we can call out to them. I doubt they'll hear, but it's fun to do anyways. Good luck, Anna. Good luck, Rainier. I wish you the best on your summiting, and it was a pleasure meeting you guys. With the sound of music. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! oh. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a nice, cool, like 56 degrees at 5.30 in the morning. Dude, I could not sleep for Jack Twiddly last night. Uh, it was terrible. I was literally in a zombified walking state for five hours because the mosquitoes were so bad Every time you stood still for more than two seconds, you would get 15 bites at the same time. And it didn't stop until 10 o'clock at night. So I was pretty well miserable by the time I even got to even consider going to bed. And then I was just tossing and turning all night. Allergies or something was acting up. My nose was stuffed and I don't know what was going on, but I am going off of zero sleep 
this morning I said I'd get up early to try and beat the mosquitoes so that it would be a easy pack out. And I tell you what, they are up before the sun. They're down after the sun and they come up before the sun. I was up in the dark, tearing down my camp, packing up. Ah, dang, they're still chasing after me. Yeah, I got halfway through my tear down and I looked at my arms because everything was just on fire. And I had five mosquitoes going up my one arm, five to six mosquitoes going up the other arm. And then I had a bunch of them on my back, eating my back and my shoulders. They are absolutely relentless. I was gonna say, I have all of the misery tales that I have of hiking and backpacking. I think getting eaten alive is probably number one on that list. Well, that's pretty neat. Mm. So here goes my, as quick as possible, wrap up video summarizing this particular outing. Dudley Trail, phenomenal, love it. Steep elevation at the very end, but as long as you're in decent shape, you can get it. Just take a few breaks if you need to. The lake is awesome. Um, there's no connecting path from Dudley to Deer Chase, I found out. So unless you're good with a map, compass, GPS, and bushwhack off trailing, then I wouldn't attempt to merge from the Dudley Trail into Deer Chase. Deer Chase was really nice. Deer Lake was phenomenal. So I think the two biggest things for a takeaway other than the trail that didn't exist, one is be wary if you're coming out to hike this in like late June, July, or August, which is where I'm in is July. The mosquitoes and horse flies are absolutely horrendous. You will get eaten alive. So if you come out during that period, just make sure you're not boy scouting or girl scouting like I was with a tarp. Just make sure you bring a tent or a hammock with a bug net or deep. Lots, lots of deep. The other factor is that some of the trails in this wilderness aren't marked and the paths get really sketchy at points. Uh, there was one part on Dudley where you're about halfway between the entrance and the lake and it looks on the map like you're supposed to follow, like there's a trail going with the stream to the left, but then it also looks like there's a trail crossing the stream. So it looks more established on the side, so I went up the side, but then I got completely lost and I had to find my way back to that weird trail to get back to that creek to cross it. And then I found out later that that is the actual trail. So be wary of things like that. There are a lot of trails out here that look like they should be trails, but they're really not, and they will get you completely frogged up and lost. Um, and there's no markings on a bunch of these trails either. Dudley had no tree markings and deer chase had a few but they weren't actually blazes they actually like scalped into the tree it looked like but all that aside this was a phenomenal trail it's a really fun area so whenever you're in the area i suggest you come out and check this out if you have the time